Did a quick fix make your swing worse? Wayne DeFrancesco will get your swing back on track at WDGLC.com. Okay, hey there everybody, it's Wayne DeFrancesco and welcome to my website. Doing a swing analysis here and it's arguably the greatest woman player of all time, at least one of the top few, perhaps along with say, Patty Berg and Kathy Whitworth and Annika Sorenstam, it's Mickey Wright. She won 13 major championships in 82 events, dominated golf for around 10 years, had four years uh, between 1961 and 64 where she won 44 events. Ben Hogan said she had the best swing he ever saw, so that means that we definitely want to watch this one and see what she is doing. All right, so we got a couple of pretty good shots here. Uh, the face-on view, if you look at the ball position, appears to be a little bit on the back in the stance, so I'm thinking the camera is just a little bit off to the side, but it's definitely a a still camera so we can draw some lines and at least see what the uh, what the movement is all about um, pretty tall and rangy great flow to the swing one of the things you'll notice right away is the right load at least half a head over you can see the free hip movement, especially the left leg, which is pretty much a hallmark of a lot of the swings back in the 50s and 60s and the era before that. Pretty free with that left leg. So you'll see that the right leg stays mostly inside the box, a little rotation of the right knee. But a lot of kick in with the left, so she loses quite a bit of ground. If you look at the Gary Woodland analysis, I just did, you'll see a very similar looking backswing just without the heel off the ground and the knee popping in, but certainly the, the hip slide and the right load head movement. See a little bit of downwardness in the backswing, and very commonly, like all great players, a little bit more in the forward swing. Now notice that her head is still back, about halfway out of the box. Now her hips have, have gone a huge distance to get forward of the box there from where she went backwards. Look at that. So, great hip thrust. You'll see that in Hogan as well, except Hogan didn't really come off out of the box as much as Wright does. Now one of the real cool things about about this swing and it's something that I teach and point out all the time to people is is the sequencing that allows the club to bend back against the hands producing an increased wrist angle in transition which can then be sustained or released into the ball for maximum effect so one of the interesting things here you'll see from this shot is that if you look at where the, the hands are at the top and you watch this thing start down and you get a real view of how the hands are actually stretching away even as the right arm is trying to come into the body. Now that's caused by what I would call right arm extensor action and wrist cock which combine to give you that structure in the left arm the width in the back swing and then the forward swing when the lower body initiates from the ground up from the right foot and you get that tremendous push the what I would call catch or engagement of the muscles in the in the waist and then up into the back and shoulder we'll start the club forward pulling the left arm with the body movement and then you get that lever system going in the wrist inertia of the club keeps going back, the wrist hinge, take the stress, the shaft bends, and now we've got a lot of power stored up. So, take a look at that at regular speed, you can really see the the fluidity 
a lot of Hogan in that fairly whippy looking top of the swing. Now, notice at left arm parallel, one of her oddities in her swing, which is, you see it sometimes, the wrists are late to cock. So she's, what I would say, flinging the club up to the top, late wrist cock, and then a hard catch with the body. Great timing. And that produces a lot of energy and a very athletic, what I would call, athletic flow to the swing. So Learn the Pivot Compression Golf Swing. Join WDGLC.com today. So, we've got a nice down the line view here. It's a little bit, uh, the camera's a little bit high. But again, we can draw the lines as long as we know it's camera angle's a little bit odd here. So we'll take that into consideration and just take a look. You're not going to get the club coming up the shaft playing when the camera's way up in the air. It always looks under. But I would say that this is definitely a little bit more in, a la Sneed and uh, Jones, a number of players back in the days before the 80s, before the takeaway became a uh, something to work on to get uh, more up the plane line. So you see the left arm pretty far across the chest, so a very deep position. Looks like the club might be crossing the line. See the left heel popping up in the air there. But look at the catch. And when I say catch, again, what I mean is that the initial movement forward happens before the upper body has finished coiling and certainly before the club has reached its furthest point backwards. Take a look at the, see the shaft bend there. And then a couple other things that I've been pointing out pretty regularly here is if you take a look at the the hands at the top and you look at the direction of movement here you'll see that it's again sidearm we got the we got the hands moving out toward the ball here initially look at the shaft we'll draw it here although it's curved now watch it the thing kicks way over there now if you're wondering what's causing that look at the rotation in the left knee Watch that left foot and heel, it's going to hit the ground and the weight's never going to be heavy on the front of that foot. So that's one thing about in the old school swings, the, the people that really did that well got that left foot down and it was as though it never came up. So the rotation of the trunk took the left knee immediately and retracted it left. The right is pushing into the left I think if this camera angle were a little better, she'd be a little more in the box. But if you watch it from the front, her left knee did not snap. Although here it snapped and then re-bends. If we take a look at a another swing, let's take a look at a, a face-on view that kind of matches up with the one on the right. And here we'll see the same, same things. This was a video she did for somebody or another so you'll watch the first little bit as a instructional piece about taking a club back low and slow which is pretty guaranteed to bring you I mean if you ever wanted to take the club back underneath the shaft plane and uh, get it under your hands and then behind you a little bit just hit the tee going back so that's that's, that's kind of an interesting uh, piece of old instruction that you won't hear much anymore. Low and slow means deep and behind you. So here we can readily see that if the left arm is parallel, the club head's right here. So that's almost no wrist cock to speak of. But if we watch it go back now, there's that amazing catch. Now watch that right elbow up here. Just more evidence that the hands are moving out 
and the elbow is moving into the body to get in front of the rib cage, in front of the right hip. And again, we'll see the right load in the head. Big movement with the left leg, and then the great recovery. Huge push. And look at the amount, total amount there of hip slide. And again, we see the ball position a little bit back of the heel. Got to be three, four inches back. Pretty wide stance. But you'd figure if she was going to launch this thing up in the air a little bit, that loading right like that and staying back there a little bit would probably be a good idea. Notice the how she finishes off the push. So this is really using the glutes to shove the waist right up against that furthest left point right there. Hmm, I could watch that forever. Just take a look at that. Hmm. There's another interesting view that I was looking at here. And again, we'll see that in the in the takeaway because of the effort to keep the club low the club gets the arms swing behind her pretty much but then she's able to just catch that thing before it gets goofed up now watch where the watch where the hands go i'm just going to run this back and forth a little bit So you can see them up here, and then when they move, look where they go. So, all you one planers aren't going to be watching this swing for right arm action. looking swing. It's Mickey Wright. Boom.